Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Flo from Pure Kicks back at it again with another performance review and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about a very, very special shoe. The Nike Hyperdunk X Low. Let's get it. Before we get into this review, like this video if you enjoyed the review, hit that thumbs up button, show your boys some love. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Hyperdunk X, if you've copped it, if you will be copying it, and what shoes you want us to compare this shoe to, because this is a very, very good shoe. We love it. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And of course, hit that subscribe button, because we have a ton of more performance reviews coming your way. Hit the bell as well, so you stay notified to everything good from Pure Kicks. One more thing, we want to say a very big thank you to the beautiful people over at Pro Direct Hoops for sending these through. This is a beautiful performer, so thank you very much. They even provided your boys with our very own promo code. So if you want to grab these or the Hyperdunk X, the high tops, just enter Pure Kicks 10 promo code and you will get 10% off your Hyperdunks. This is not a drill. Do it. Let's get it. Now the Hyperdunk X is the 10th Hyperdunk by Nike and my oh my oh my is this a clean looking shoe. The Hyperdunk family has always been my favorite line from Nike and I was very very excited to ball in this shoe and yeah I've got some very good things to say about this shoe so let's get straight into it. Now the first thing that stood out to me in the shoe was the cushioning system. What we have here is a Phylon carrier with a four foot zoom unit and a heel zoom unit. And I really enjoyed this setup, I really did. I'm a huge fan of having four foot zoom, so to have four foot zoom and heel zoom, it's like you're spoiling me Nike, you're spoiling me. I really enjoyed this setup. Now at first, I was a little bit upset that it wasn't full length zoom like we're accustomed to in previous Hyperlock models, but, but I enjoyed playing in this. I think the heel to toe transition in this shoe, because it's decoupled, you can really feel the four foot zoom activating and once you kind of transition to your heel, it deactivates and you can feel the heel zoom so it feels really, really nice. The zoom unit in the heel is a lot thicker as well, so when you sit in the heel, it feels nice and plush and then the zoom unit in the four foot is a bit more responsive because it's a bit lower to the ground, so this system really, really did wonders for me, I really enjoyed it. So straight off the bat, the cushioning in the shoe is an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. That's nice. Now the next thing I really enjoyed in the shoe was the fit of the shoe. Now I'm going to talk about the materials in a second, but the fit of the shoe was really, really nice. The materials have all these different layers, and the layers are all connected by the lacing system. So once you put your foot inside the shoe and you lace up, you can really feel each part of the shoe kind of conforming to your foot and each layer tightening as you lace the shoes up. It's very reminiscent of what we had in the PG2s. The fit was really, really good. And it surprised me actually to have a shoe that fits that nice because it doesn't have an inner booty. It's a normal shoe, but the fit was really, really nice. I've got a wide foot as well, so the, the, the shoe took care of me. <laughs> And I'm a size 10 UK, I got myself a size 10 and the shoe did wonders for me. So the fit was really, really nice. And there are also these two little pods in the heel section as well. Once your foot is locked down in the shoe, you can really feel those two little pods hug and lock your heel down, which I found really, really nice as well. So the fit in the shoe was also very, very good. And I'm gonna give the fit an eight out of 10. Another strong score. Next up, talking about the materials in the Hyperdunk X, what we have is an overall mesh construction and this neoprene layer in the middle of the shoe. And Nike added a cheeky lever here on the heel. A cheeky touch. I like that. I like that, Nike. Now, are these my favorite materials? No, they're not. Nike has much better materials, i.e. Flyknit, which you've added into previous shoes. And of course, this isn't the elite model, so I shouldn't expect Flyknit in the standard low model. But still, Nike has low-key spoiled us, innit? Like, low-key spoiled, man. So, 
Like, I won't fly in it. But obviously, man's gonna try and not, you know, be biased. So, yeah, I'm gonna give my unbiased opinion of the materials. The thing I enjoyed the most about these materials was that straight out the box, the shoe required minimal to zero breaking time. The breaking time was almost instant. The shoe felt really, really comfortable. That combined with the zoom units as well, made the shoe a nice, comfortable shoe. The snug and secure fit was brilliant as well. And unlike flying it that we have been accustomed to and a little bit spoiled by, these materials are way more durable than flying it. So yes, I am upset that we haven't got flying it, but at the same time, very durable. So I like it. With all of that being said, the materials come in at an above average seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, decent. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is the traction. And traction is probably the most important aspect for me in a basketball performer because it just is, yeah? Traction is important. We all know how important traction is. Now this is where I experience some inconsistencies. Now before I get into this, the court that Timmy and I play at is probably one of the dustiest courts on planet Earth, yeah? We play on that court specifically because we want to test the shoes out and see how good they are. Now the traction pattern in the Hyperdunk X has this wavy ultrasound wave pattern which performed decently. Every now and then it required a wipe which is a bit annoying. This shoe is a straight up dust collector. So when you're moving in linear motion up and down, unfortunately the traction is very inconsistent unless you're wiping the outsole every other play, you are going to slip. I am very sorry for that. However, side to side lateral, playing defense, you're calm. The traction has got you. Of course, clean courts, you can play in anything. So we don't even bother playing in clean courts because there's actually no point. Outdoors is another aspect where I think the shoe will do really well. The grooves are really deep. Obviously here we have that solid rubber option. So I think outdoors the shoe will do bits. So you're calm if you're an outdoor player. So taking all of that into consideration, I'm gonna give the traction a seven out of 10 because when you do wipe the traction pattern and the traction pattern is clean, the traction has got you covered. However, Please be wary that you are going to have to wipe the outsole every other play or else you will slip. So seven out of 10, decent traction. Now lastly, talking about the support of the shoe, the support in this shoe comes from the outrig of the shoe, which helps with your lateral support. The overall lockdown and the fit of the shoe, which is very, very amazing as well. And the heel count of the shoes. Well, obviously this is a low top, so the support isn't gonna be 10 out of 10, but it still gets the job done. What I really enjoy is that once your foot is locked in, you're laced up, you don't have to worry about anything. The support in the shoe has got you covered. I've said this many times, Nike uses a triple threat support system, which always, always gets the job done. So without saying anything more, seven out of 10 support. The support was, was good very good support now looking at all the scores of the hyperdog x low this shoe comes in overall at a 7.4 out of 10. now the hyperdog line is known to many as nike's staple shoe and again this year the hyperdog x low gets the job done this is not an incredible scream out the park smashed it basketball shoe this is a shoe that gets the job done you lace up and you hoop and you get buckets. Straight up, this shoe gets the job done. I really, really enjoyed hooping in this shoe. I'm gonna play in this shoe this season because I really enjoyed it. This all white color, clean, so clean. So yeah, Nike, well done. You guys did a great job. Now this being Nike's 10th Hyperdunk, I am praying and hoping that they bring an elite version. What would even be sicker is if they brought an elite low, because I'm a low guy, and having a hyperdunk with flying it, that's a low top, would be sick. So Nike, pattern that for your boy, please. Thank you very much. So that is everything from the Hyperdunk X low. Thank you again to Pro Direct Basketball for sending this beautiful shoe through. If you want to get yourself a pair of these hyperdunks, which I highly recommend, hit the link in the description, Go to Proderate Basketball and get yourself a pair of these Hyperdonks. Enter our promo code PureKicks10 and save 10%. Save it! Save your money! Save it! Save it! PureKicks10 people, don't waste no time. Let's get it.
let's get it. As always, like this video if you enjoyed our video, hit that thumbs up button, let us know in the comment section what you think of our review, what you think of the Hyperdon X Low, and what you want us to compare the shoe to. Follow us on our socials, at purekicks.ig on Instagram, and at purekicks underscore TW on Twitter. And of course, hit that subscribe button right now. We're on a little journey to hit 10K, so we'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And of course, hit the bell so you stay notified to anything lit from Pure Kicks. So right guys, that's it from me. This is the Nike Hyperdunk X Low. It's your boy Flo from Pure Kicks. Let's get it. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's our one time to kick.